Welcome to a quick update on Cepheus Protocol, folks. Uh, since the 15th, I think my last episode of Cepheus Protocol went up on the 16th of July. And on the 15th, uh, a major, major update came out, uh, which changed uh, a lot of things. And several updates have come out since then, even in the, what, two weeks? since uh, my last video came out. So I just wanted to give you a quick update on what's going on with Cepheus Protocol and also let you know a little bit about my plans for Cepheus Protocol going forward. So first of all, uh, I want to mention that the game is currently on sale for the Steam Summer Sale and it's 25% off. Excuse me there, I really had to sneeze. So it's currently 25% off on Steam, so make sure to head over there and, and uh, check it out if you have been waiting for it to come on sale. 25% off right now on Steam during the summer sale. So that is pretty damn cool. Uh, also, so that, that wasn't uh, really an update to the game, but uh, a very, very nice update to the price. So for all of you who have been waiting, make sure to get it now while it's on sale. Also, as we saw, I think only in the last episode of uh, my second attempt playthrough, there has been an update to the teams. So before we had an away team and a defense team, and now we have four teams that can be used in either way. So they can all be away teams, they can all be defense teams. That is awesome. So you can basically send all your teams forward or keep some back as you see fit. Next, uh, they have added a really nice thing, which is auto loaders for the turrets. So we can purchase that for a hundred quid. And where's another one there? And we can see that if we turn that on, then they will auto reload. Now, this, uh, I'm assuming, is if we go to the alpha team. At your command. Let's see, a generator. Do they need generators? They do need generators now. So turrets now need generators. So that's another thing to keep in mind, that you can't just place down the turrets. You actually have to buy generators for them as well. So the turrets are effectively 500 uh, more expensive than they were before. And the prices haven't dropped for them. The machine gun turrets are still a thousand, and the missile turrets are still twenty-five hundred. So, effectively, uh, there's a five hundred dollar price tag to placing down turrets. Though you can, of course, having or, or an extra five hundred dollar price tag. Though you can, of course, have multiple turrets within the range of of one generator. So that, I think that's pretty cool, and it's really nice with the, with the auto loaders. so you don't have to go check up on them all the time. If they run out, they just get refilled. I think that's an excellent update. Also, another incredibly excellent update is hotkeys for your uh, mortars. So before, you had to go back here, find your mortar, and set it to fire you had to go back and find where you wanted to fire but now you have a hotkey it's on comma by default where you tack, uh, cycle through your mortars with the comma key so that is really nice so we can just go up here uh, let's select the alpha team uh, select all and we can just say okay i, I want a comma yeah. select my mortars okay this one is already firing at something let's select the other one set it to fire, no need to move back and forth. That is really nice. Because it was really frustrating to have to go back, find the mortar, go back again, find the target, stuff like that. So uh, that is a major, major improvement in the, uh, you might say, uh, quality of life. Then also, uh, Patient Zero has been adjusted some, so she will send minions instead of attacking herself once uh, you reach the midpoint in the game. So no, no longer uh, will Patient Zero run and attack your uh, zones of control here. She'll send minions to attack them instead, which is also uh, quite nice because Patient Zero is basically unable to be killed until you have the upgraded bullets 
so I think that's a really good thing. Also, the UI has been tweaked some. Uh, I think it's been a little bit... Uh, the text here has been made a little bit bigger, so that you can actually see what it says. Sometimes it was really hard to see what it says, and I think you can also zoom in further. I don't think I've ever been this zoomed in before. So, yeah, I really like that, and it looks really cool, doesn't it? It does look really, really cool. So, yeah. Right, so... Also, uh, Steam badges, uh, backgrounds and emoticons are now available. So, that's another little fun thing that you can start uh, collecting. Uh, so, that is awesome. And if we jump out of this game, let's exit to the main menu. This is my old game from, from the second attempt where we killed Chelsea Trader. And let's jump back here. And there is a new mode as well, Horde mode, which is currently in beta. Uh, and I haven't really had time to check it out yet, but I certainly will. And I will also uh, be putting out uh, a video too on, on the Horde mode where I try that out. Uh, I checked it out for like two minutes and it seems like it's it's kind of a tower defense uh, thing. So um, yeah, uh, I, I, I will be putting out a, a series on horde mode where we see how far we can go in that. Uh, so that that's going to be fun, I think. And I think I'll record that, uh, st or start recording that uh, next Saturday, which would be the, what? The, uh, that would be the 4th of uh, July. So I think I said July earlier as well. Of course, uh, this up these updates were from the 15th of June until the 29th of June. I think I said July by mistake, but of course it was in June because that was when I was recording my two attempts uh, of uh, taking out Chelsea Trader and saving the island. Also, I just want to say, the devs are incredibly active, and it's really, really cool. Uh, so, since the 15th, uh, besides the uh, big update, there has, uh, have actually been eight patches to the game in, what, around two weeks, 14 days? There have been eight patches to the game, uh, fixing and tweaking things. Uh, also, a lot of uh, all the classes have been tweaked, so they either have more health or less health. Uh, they uh, certainly the heavy class has been made uh, more expensive to recruit and research stuff like that. So, so that is really nice. And there's also some roadmap news here, which they have also included uh, recently. So that is really nice. Engineer away teams. Uh, so that's an old one. Uh, nah, yeah. So year one roadmap. Whoops. It is loading a website. So we have a roadmap here, which is really nice. Uh, I've already checked out this roadmap, and it looks really, really cool. Uh, you, you should really check that out. So yeah, definitely, uh, now that it's on sale, if you haven't already gotten this game, go get it now while it's on sale, because it is freaking fantastic. And I will be back with both a Horde Mode uh, playthrough, where I try that out, and we'll of course also be back in uh, Pandemic Mode in not too long, because last time we killed Chelsea Trader, but we didn't clear all out all of the zombies, and I want to do that. So that is going to be our goal uh, going forward, to try and clear out all the, uh, the zombies on the entire island. And uh, I don't know exactly what the end goal if, is of the game, other than right now clearing out all the zombies here, but they did mention a campaign mode in their roadmap as well. So that seems quite interesting and, and what that campaign campaign mode will be will it all be going on on the island here will there be like first person missions what what, what will happen i don't know uh, but it looks fantastic and I, I all i can say is the, the game is just amazing and 
with the amount of time that the developers and passion that the developers are obviously putting into this and the many patches that are coming out, I think it has a great future ahead of it and you don't want to miss out. So anyway, that was just a quick update on uh, what's going on with the uh, Cepheus protocol and also what you can expect uh, from me, uh, from uh, my channel regarding Cepheus protocol going forward. So yeah, thank you very much for watching guys. I hope you found the update uh, useful and interesting and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.